intensive care coordination services works with kids, uh, youth that have very complex, serious emotional and behavioral issues and it works with the families as well. Now these services work with families that have a lot of needs that need to be met and that really could benefit from a team approach to help them meet their needs. My son was going through a lot of challenges, uh, both at school and in the community at home. Uh, I was going to various appointments uh, all over the place, like doctors, uh, different agencies, but I was like, no success, you know, and so I, I was losing hope. They mean the world to me. They are just my life. Both of them are very talented in their own ways. Uh, one of the things that I learned in, through this program was that you, there is a balance. We all have many strengths um, and that got brought out more through this program. Intensive care coordination works with families using a wraparound approach. So if People might have heard of that expression, it takes a village to raise a child. It's similar to that. It takes a team, it's a team-based approach. The family's team is made up of formal supports and natural supports. So formal supports could be a teacher, a psychiatrist, a pediatrician, an outpatient counselor. And natural supports could be somebody like a neighbor, it could be an aunt or an uncle, a cousin, it could even be a grandmother, a grandfather, a family member, or someone who knows the child really well that's going to be in their life for a long period of time. The family and the youth decide who is on their team, so they have the decision-making process of who's going to be on their wraparound team. And the composition of the team really depends on what the family and youth, what they decide and who they want on their team. The different things that had happened before, like, you know, my son had a lot of challenges. Uh, and when people expressed their concerns, it was like uh, almost like blame, you know, and, and shame, you know, like, uh, it's not supposed to be like this. It's, you need to do this different. You need to do that different. And that was the, uh, that's how I felt. This program was more inclusive, it wasn't shameful, and it was accepting. The care coordinator is kind of like the quarterback for the family's team, and then the family partner is like the coach for the family team. So the family partner's, the family partner's priority, and the family partner's role is to partner with the family on making sure that they're feeling comfortable in this process, that their voice is being heard, that they're really the, the primary decision maker of how things are progressing on this team, and that making sure that the, the needs of the youth and the family are, be, are the, the main focus. Wor working with my family partner was an amazing um, experience because I finally felt like I had somebody by my side that understood me, that understood my journey, uh, that understood what I was going through. Uh, so, you know, and she shared her experience and with her experience I, I was able to make changes in my own life. Uh, she almost like she held my hand for a little while you know, and, uh, and, and gave me different tools for me to do a lot of these things on my own. Many services came out of that plan, uh, like even the, the first one, you know, it's when, uh, like I had said, you know, like an in-home therapist, you know, someone to come in the home, right? A, a mentor for my son. Um, like, a, like sitting down, you know, with my providers to go over my, um, the, the IEP, for instance, uh, like a social worker, uh, outside therapist, you know, um, and I'm not sure, you know, like one of the things that it was just making me aware of other things that would help my family, like even my own care, you know, as a parent, as a caregiver, is something that I had neglected all along, you know, so that was something important, you know, that I felt came out of that because I'm now more aware that if I'm good, my family will be good also. It has helped um, my son a great, you know, deal. Uh, he's now doing much better at school. 
Uh, it also helped me because the relations between the school and um, myself has changed. You know, I am more open to like feedback from them. It doesn't feel like it's a threatening. They understood me, so it's a, a good relationship that I now have. Um, my son at school uh, is has the support he needs at home, he has the support he needs, so it makes it for a more calmer environment, both at school, at home, in the community. Intensive care coordination is available throughout the state of Massachusetts and is available in every city and town. There are 32 programs across the state that provide intensive care coordination, and it's broken up by areas. Families can enroll in intensive care coordination by self-referring. First, what they should do is they should talk to anybody that they're currently working with, like their pediatrician, is there someone in the school that they're currently working with, a school social worker, a guidance counselor. If they happen to be working with an outpatient therapist, they should ask about intensive care coordination and ask for help in how to access the intensive care coordination services. They can call and self-refer, or referrals can be made on their behalf from a pediatrician the school, any state agency or any professional that's currently working with the family already. What I would say to other par parents that um, from a parent to other parents is that it's, try it. Uh, it. It will make a difference. Intensive care coordination is provided by community service agencies throughout Massachusetts. To find a provider, go to this website, www.mass.gov slash masshealth slash CBHI. Click on the CBHI brochure. There, you will find contact information for intensive care coordination providers in each area of the state. You can choose to work with any provider on the list, not just those in your area. You can also keep watching this video to see a complete listing of intensive care coordination providers near you. Some agencies provide support based on a family's language and cultural needs. Children's Services of Roxbury specializes in serving the African American community in Greater Boston. The Kandara Center specializes in serving the Latino population in the Springfield and Holyoke areas and the Learning Center for the Deaf at the Walden School specializes in serving the needs of the deaf and hard of hearing communities in Metro Boston, Metro West, and in the greater Worcester and Springfield areas. The following is a list of intensive care coordination providers by region. Intensive care coordination providers and agencies are subject to change. For the most current list, visit this website. There, you can search for providers by zip code and see if they are accepting new clients, though this does not guarantee an appointment or placement.